guys, what's up? Welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling here. Thanks a lot for watching today's video, much appreciated. And today we're gonna give you guys some tips and advice on what it means when you're catching small fish and basically some adjustments you can make to uh, catch bigger fish if you're just doing nothing but catching small fish. I think it's uh, something we all run into, so it's a, I think it's a topic well worth discussing. Uh, real quick, just wanna remind everybody, I give our weekly reminder about our Fish the Moment Lake Map Breakdowns. Got myself, Matt Steffen, Johnny Schultz building lake map breakdowns for all the lakes across the country. We do personal breakdowns. We do these breakdowns give you 40 great GPS locations, tips and advice on how to fish it, summaries of the lake. It's a really good resource if you want to learn more about your favorite lake or a lake that you've never been for, been there before. So check them out at fishthemoment.com. I'll put the link in the description. Much appreciated. Okay guys, I don't think there's a person out there that hasn't got on a deal where they're just getting small fish. It happens more than not. I mean, when you just pull into an area and you may or may not <clears throat> have been catching any decent fish there, but for some reason, all you can catch is dinks, like, you know, eight inches, 10 inches, 12 inches, that type of stuff. And you may be catching a lot of them. You may be, you know, catching 20 or 30 of those and not getting any good fish whatsoever. Um, when this happens, there's a couple different scenarios or a couple different things you can do to make a move to catch some bigger fish. And there's two different factors that you need to consider. The number, there, the first factor is, bait, is the bait selection you've got. The second factor is the area that you're fishing. So, and sometimes it's a combination of two. The first thing that I usually do, if I'm in an area where I'm catching lots of, lots of small fish, I know that I'm, that gives me confidence that fish are using that area. So I, I'm, I'm pretty positive, even if I'm catching small fish, that the area that I'm fishing is a good area. The first thing that I want to do is make a bait selection change, a bait, bait selection change, possibly color selection, possibly speed or retrieve. And a lot of it has to do with bait size and bait color. Most of the time, if you're fishing a smaller bait, it's just the most obvious thing is to upsize the, the size of your lure and see if that works. The problem with that, guys, is most that while that is the obvious you know answer to it, just bigger bait, bigger fish, I don't find that works very much. For some reason, if I upsize the size of my bait when I'm catching small ones, I don't catch that many fish. The thing that has allowed me to catch more bigger fish if I've just been catching little ones in the area is usually a color change or a, a change in my retreat, how the speed or retrieve that I'm fishing. So let's say for example if I'm catching uh, lots of little fish on a, on a green pumpkin jig I may go to a little bit darker jig like a black and blue or black or chartreuse. If I'm catching a lot of 12 inchers on a shad pattern crankbait I may go to a brighter some type of a perch pattern with chartreuse sides something a little bit more aggressive. Um, if I'm catching them on a shad colored spinner bait, I may go to a chartreuse skirt, something a little bit brighter. Um, most of the time, if you go to brighter colors or darker, brighter colors on hard baits or darker colors on soft baits, a lot of times that will upsize the, the, the weight of your fish. Also, another thing that I found out about is more than not, speed or retrieve has a lot to do with catching the bigger fish. Again, it's hard bait versus soft bait. For the most part, on the softer baits, dragging or fishing real slow is gonna catch your bigger ones if you've been normally catching little ones. And if you're fishing hard moving baits, a lot of times speeding your retrieve up to a faster stop and go retrieve is gonna generate that reaction strike for, from a bigger fish. Sometimes you can do the same thing with, with angle. If you've been parallel in the banks, say for example, in four foot of water, try moving out into five or six feet of water in parallel, getting that bait a little bit deeper. So the first thing guys, is just try to maximize the area that you have been catching the little ones in there. Now, if you try that and you don't do any good, the next thing you gotta do is you gotta make an area change. And the area change that you can make can either be accompanied by a bait change or not. Um, let's say for example, um, I'll give you guys an example today. I just got off the water at Table Rock and I was, I was throwing square bill mega bass S cranks at Table Rock in the river part of the section of the lake. And the, in most rivers, you've got different gradients of water clarity based upon the part of the river that you're in. And I was catching a bunch of smaller fish, non like, you know, 10, 12 inch fish 
in this one section of the river and I made a move and there was a uh, probably two miles away and the, there was a slight water clarity change right off the bat I caught a five and a half pounder I caught a three pounder and another one about three pounds um, just by making that move with the same bait into just a little bit dirtier water not very much so that's another thing you can do is make an area change that can that can make a big difference and sometimes you know again there's other factors to consider like weather changes during the course of the day but sometimes you have to make a complete 360 make an area change and completely change your technique like today and you know i was just fortunate to catch them on the same bait in a different area but i may had to have gone to, you know up there instead of fishing a crankbait i may had to went to a jig in a different area so it's a matter of uh, experimentation and bass fishing is nothing but hunting bass it's the same thing you've got to always be looking for them always be hunting for them they're always biting somewhere it's just a matter of being at the right place at the right time so that's the advice i'll give you guys for uh catching some bigger ones if you're just catching little ones i think it'll help out there quite a bit and uh, we'll talk to you guys later see you